cell surface receptors and intracellular receptors. So let's look at both and think about the differences. Uh, so basically some are going in and some are not going in. Looking at the cell surface receptors we know that because of the uh, the fact that they are uh, hydrophilic they're not able to enter the the cell and so uh, they would bind uh, to a receptor such as an integral protein uh, and or transmembrane protein and uh, then that way uh, the uh, receptor can then activate uh, mechanisms within the cell. However, on the other side, for the intracellular receptors, these, uh, for example, small hydrophobic signal molecules are able to uh, enter the cell, but you might wonder why, why can't they enter the cell by themselves? Why do they need to carry a molecule? And the reason is because they are hydro, uh, hydrophobic. Without a carrier molecule, they would just clump together and um, they would uh, precip precipitate out of the fluid. So they need to carry a protein. So in this case, we can see uh, the small hydrophobic signal, signal molecule is, is carried in with a carrier protein. And in this case, you can see it either will go to a cytosolic receptor, it binds the cytosolic receptor, um, or it goes directly into the uh, into the nucleus, into the it can bind a nuclear receptor. Uh, anyway, in both cases, they go to the nucleus, and um, then you can see within the cell these the transcription factors which regulate protein transcription. Uh, they then bind to specific sites on DNA, which results in uh, stimulating messenger RNA synthesis, which results in proteins. An example of this would be thyroxine, which would bind the receptors in the nucleus. So let's understand the differences between cell surface receptors and intracellular receptors. So a quick example here um, of intracellular receptors for lipophilic hormones, which can enter the uh, end of the cell with a, a carrier would be, for example, steroid hormones which bind to receptors in the cytosol that are brought in and uh, then you can see uh, what results as a result of, the, of them entering and, uh, and causing a change in the cell.